happy 4th of July. So, it is about 2 degrees this side of hell here. And everybody at work got finished. 12, 1 o'clock, something like that. So we've had a half a day. And, well, everybody else has had a half a day. I have, oh, made hotness do yard stuff. I helped. I helped. And just, it's hot. It's too hot to be outside throwing sod and digging holes. So I came to the Walmart. Genius. Oh, the things I have seen that you cannot unsee some of this stuff. Not a, not one pack of hot dog buns. Not one stinking pack of hot dog buns in that whole store. They've got um, Pepperidge Farm soft something something rolls for 98 bucks. No. Um, so I went to the bread wall and found some Hoagie things. It'd be alright. Nobody will even notice. The kids won't even eat hot dog buns. They just want a hot dog chopped up. And they've got red, white, blue this and yummy that and all these sweet, sweet sweets. And I walked past them, walked past them. Wasn't gonna do it. Then I got to these little things here. Pecan pies. Yes, I'm gonna eat this whole pecan pie before I get home. They're only 50 cents. So, if they're only 50 cents, there can't be that many calories in it because everybody knows expensive stuff has lots of calories. Cheap stuff has lesser calories. So, that's my story. So, could not hardly even buy a parking spot at the Walmart and people with practically no clothes on and some of them, I'm pretty sure, have been drinking. But we didn't know what we were going to do today, and we don't, sometimes we just wing it. You know, that see your pants thing, no bueno. And there is no way in hell we are going south to watch the fireworks. So, um, looks like we've got a big old box of them in the man cave that somebody donated. So, then we decided, okay, have the kids over, do fireworks, swim, and uh, grill out. And I told Tracy he did not have to grill out when it is hell degrees outside. Um, but he's okay with it, so if he don't care, I don't care. Threw some flowers in some pots, and he's slinging some sod, and then we're gonna, and that'll probably be it. We got some goodies today, and we're setting pots different places, trying to decide what we want to go where. Lord, I hope that happens. I hope I, my job is keep them watered till he gets in the ground. That's all I gotta do. Keep them wet till he gets in the ground. And I found a sprinkler. So the worst thing about working out in the yard, and y'all know this better than I do, is the chicken manure that you throw in the hole before you plant your trees and your plants and stuff. It wasn't very long ago we redid our flower bed and. Kofi, our little poodle dots mix, got into the chicken manure and ate it because, you know, everybody knows how good that shit is. And then he came in the house and barfed on my new white carpet. White carpet? Who gets white carpet? This is before the littles. Um, so, that came out. No big deal. So now we're just going to have to be more careful this year. So what are you guys doing for 4th of July? Vicki, I need some coffee. I do, I do. I've actually had three happy coffees today, so no more. My, I, can, I can feel my hair growing right now, so we're not going to do that anymore. Um, but what have you guys got going on? Who's doing something exciting? I read something on Facebook. It said, this is the last night for some of y'all to have 10 fingers. And it's like, damn, that's true. That is true. Who on earth? The big buckets of kerosene, gasoline, gunpowder, put a match to it, fun stuff. But we, I am, I am grateful that 
our neighbors did not start 4th of July last week. I've not heard one firework this whole entire week, which is highly unusual. Um, oh, and on that note, y'all take care of your pets starting here in about two more hours. Put them up, put them someplace safe, put them in a dark room with the door shut, play them some quiet music. Get a muffler. Don't let your dogs get scared and run off, or your cats either for that matter. I don't worry about my cat because he never goes outside. But please, 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 there's nothing more heart-wrenching than seeing those posts the day after the 4th of July. My dog ran off, he got scared and run off, and I'm like, why were they outside? Why, 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 why? Easy for us to say because we've got a fenced-in yard, so if ours slipped out, if ours got scared, they couldn't go too, too far. Um, but I feel so bad for people. There's one guy that lost his service dog. I think it was year before last. He had a, a pit that was his PTSD service dog. Never found him. And I still look for him every day. And I've got that guy's Facebook post saved to my phone in case I ever see his dog so I can call him. But the traffic's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Look at this. Look at me going a little too fast because I can't. I just told y'all about that. Don't drive fast on 59. Okay, Vicky's a homebody, little as possible. Na, na, na. Oh, poor Vicky, your poor husband. Is, can you even tell the difference between a, a firecracker and a gunshot? I'm thinking no. So I think bless your husband's heart for serving and and protecting us and going out, especially the 4th of July. That's nuts. That is completely nuts. Hey, Glennis, what you doing, girlfriend? Something exciting, I know. Anybody want to jump on my live real quick? All I got to do is push a button and you can jump on here. Who wants on? Kathy, you want to jump on? We'll talk about when you're coming back and that house you're getting. I'm going to finish my pie before I get home. Hey, girl, when are y'all coming back down, Glennis? We need to go back to... Nah, let's... Not the hangout. We'll go someplace else. But y'all definitely need to come down. What was the last time a softball tournament your daughter was playing in? I forgot it was the 4th of July because I had to work. And a lot of places are closed. Not the ice cream store, though. I've got some brownies. I'm going to tell everybody I made them. I should have got a scoop of vanilla ice cream to put on top. That's what I thought. Well, I'm going to finish my pie and get off here. I can't think of anything super interesting to share with y'all. Just be careful drive safe. Try to keep all your fingers tonight. Brian Boyd, that goes triple for you. We're just gonna kick back, have a beer, let the kids have some sparklers, see what else is in that box, and stay away from the beach because it's gonna be crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, y'all, I'm just about there. Love you. Y'all be safe tonight. I'll check on you tomorrow. Bye-bye.